Oh, there is a new seasonal menu that's getting ready to debut, in fact, um, out at Bonefish Grill. We have uh, J.D. Crowder here. Good morning to you. It is you. warm out here, but it's smelling good. What you cooking up it's for us It's always warm morning? next to the grill. It always is. I actually have swordfish cooking here. We have a finished product ready for you. We're not going to mess with the swordfish. We don't have time to do everything. <laughs> we're going to do a... The magic of TV. We're coming into fall. We have a new special starting on September 6th, uh, next Tuesday. We're going to do a cedar plank... Um, Norwegian salmon with a maple bourbon glaze. It's a mouthful, and man, it is a mouthful. It's awesome. <laughs> it sounds so like I've it. Been so soaking, how long do you soak it? I've been soaking this for about uh, about six hours. You can do up to 12 hours. is fine. whole idea is, is when you put it on the grill or in the oven, you don't want the uh, wood to flame up. Um, you do and want it to just, smoke. That's just water. Absolutely, just okay. water, just soaking in water. Um, then the, the uh, Norwegian salmon, we have a nice uh, fresh piece of salmon. I've just put a little salt and pepper on it and taken the skin off already. Um, we're going to make a maple bourbon glaze. So I've got my uh, grill getting hot. Um, we're going to go ahead and, uh, pardon me, sorry. It's all right, move out of your way. Olive oil here. It's equal parts of everything. I've got Jim Beam bourbon, Dijon mustard. And how much is that about? About a quarter cup. Okay. It obviously just depends on how much salmon you're working with. I'm just going to give that a little stir. Soy sauce and, of course, maple syrup. Okay, a quarter cup of everything. Quarter Ooh, cup of everything, equal parts. Let's and give that a nice right little stir. Absolutely, you can make it. Back. It doesn't have to sit or marinate mm -hmm. um, because it is going to cook in the oven for quite a while. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. so we'll take the Norwegian salmon. Sorry to keep moving you around here. Okay. We're just going to massage that in just a little bit. And you can do that then right before you cook it as opposed right before to you cook it, it in. Absolutely. Okay. So it's not and too don't salty want, with the soy sauce. Absolutely, right? that's absolutely, happen if because you the sweetness of the maple syrup is going to definitely take care of that for you. Uh, we don't want a lot of drip coming off the Norwegian salmon. Uh, we're going to put it on the cedar plank because it does have olive oil in it, and again, you don't want uh, don't want flame. I'm going to start it on the grill just for a moment. We can finish it completely in the oven, uh, which we're going to do. Um, but I'm just going to let it sit there for a minute. Add a little bit of salt and pepper, just for flavor. Mm. And again, see that uh, wood and flame normally do not mix. Since we've soaked that wood, it's going to be now fine. Now it's open here, but you'd put this on the grill and close the lid, obviously. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. And right. uh, we're going to cook it in the oven to uh, mimic that for us here. Okay. So I'll go ahead and um, don't try this at home. No, right. We're going to put this into the oven here. Okay, so if, you, if you've if you got a grill at home, obviously you'd leave it on the grill, close it. How Just long would you it leave it? Like how, how long would you leave it? 30 to 35 minutes until the fish actually flakes apart. You don't 30 have to, to flake 35 minutes Absolutely. for salmon, really? Yeah, and that's a, a thin add piece. A, add a smaller piece. That piece maybe would only be 20 to 25 minutes. Um, again, you don't have to cook it that long to make it done. I like my salmon a little more rare. Yeah. Um, but because of the glaze, we want the glaze to cook into the salmon. Um, so we cook it about, uh, again, for that piece, and 20 to 25 minutes, 34. Yeah, well, you want it to be about 350 degrees. Okay. okay. All right, fantastic. Um, it, it, again, it's going to flake right apart instead of having that gooey salmon center. Okay? Um, so while first uh, here, I know you had the swordfish. I, I had some pumpkin ravioli I was preparing for the swordfish, which I've already done. But, you know, we have quite a while while that cooks in the oven, so I thought maybe we could have a cocktail. Okay, tell okay me about that? it. Um, well, I have one finished here, but we're going to go ahead and get to the point here. All right, I've got some... Uh, Absolute infused uh, vodka. Gotcha. And what drink? Is, what is this drink called? This is a. I'm sorry. This is a fall cinnamon apple okay. martini. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pour in some simple syrup, about a half ounce, a ginger liqueur. And do we shake it up? And I'll, absolutely, you can't have a drink without a shake. <laughs> right. Pardon my reach. <laughs> And you know what the great thing about shaking a martini is? Is you got to smile. <laughs> it means everything. All right. Um, I'm going to have you pour that up, and everyone will enjoy it. I see Absolutely. Gregory's already out here. You're not allowed to drink on the job, Gregory. So sorry. <laughs> we might thank, be able to work something out for you. Thank you, J.D., for being here. Do appreciate it. New seasonal menu hits September. September 6th. It's on a Tuesday. And let's show you that cedar salmon should be just about ready. Through the magic of TV, 30 uh, minutes delicious. doesn't really take 30 minutes. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for being here. Looks delicious. Wonderful. Hey, Rich, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy some of this fantastic food out here. I might save you some of the cocktail.
at least for like 1231. For the right price, you can enjoy a glass of wine with that. <laughs> wait, wait, there's wine too? Well, that just makes for one start, <laughs> maybe one stumble start to the morning. Into the